Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. This is going to be the fifth and final episode of my introductory Battlefield 1 series, so I'm going to round things out with a couple of tips you can use to give yourself a head start in game and keep you ahead of the competition. A lot of the time, your team's needs are going to change on the fly in game, so make sure you're always thinking about ways you can adapt your kit to be more effective. For example, if you have an enemy tank on the enemy team that's plaguing your forces, then jump onto assault and start lobbing explosives towards it. It'll be dead in no time. If you're on a wide open map with long sight lines, consider switching over to the scout class and getting your snipe on, or Get those smoke grenades in your loadout and help yourself and your team get across ground without the enemy snipers picking you off. This second tip is going to become second nature soon enough, but for now it's worth the reminder. Always, always, always spot your enemies. You can mark out enemy positions for the benefit of your entire team by just looking their way and as long as they're within your soldier's sight, you hit the spot button and boom, they're marked on the map, your whole team can see where they are, it's essentially like you're acting as your own UAV and it will definitely help you kill more people and win more games. There's often more than one way to do things in this game, so if you find yourself running into the enemy front line and dying and dying and dying, then switch up your playstyle. You could start falling back and mortaring the enemy from afar before they can even see you. You could jump on a flak gun to focus down some enemy vehicles, grab a trench periscope to spot all the enemies from maximum range for your team so that you can stay totally safe and they can get their hands dirty, and think about who you are and aren't interacting with in your game as well. You could keep pushing the front with your team and try to create some kind of organized assault, or you could go lone wolf and slip past the enemy lines to stab them in the back. The choice is yours. A lot of the enjoyment in Battlefield is designed to come from fighting to win matches, which means playing the objective. But if you're just grinding to get that done every single game, you're going to get aggravated. Don't be afraid to take some time to mess with new guns, try new strategies, or just have a laugh with friends and keep things cheerful. You can always delay your win streak one more game and just take some time to focus on yourself. And finally, I really, really recommend you play with a squad if you possibly can. If you have a bunch of mates that play Battlefield, group up with them, squad up in game, and reap the rewards. You'll be able to spawn on each other in the game itself, so you'll be closer to the action at all times. You'll be able to focus on helping each other out, organize yourselves better, and it'll just generally make your life easier. You can always jump right into an open squad if you aren't playing with people you know as well. There's always someone looking for a friend on the battlefield. So, that's it from me. This marks the final episode in my series. Hopefully it's been really useful for you guys. Obviously this is a little change to my usual content and I'm really excited to bring some more content like this to my channel in the very near future. Thanks for watching guys, like I've said. Hopefully I'll see you in another video I make very soon. Bye for now.